friendly greetings. I am Torley Linen, and welcome back to the Second Life Tip of the Week. We're right here at the login screen, and I'm going to show you one magic word to start multiple viewers at the same time. Now you might be asking, why would you want to do that? Yeah, tell me Because why. it's got many usages. When I bug test, I like to have multiple accounts on so I don't have to log on and off. Or if you're filming movies, machinima, you may like to have actors and just move them on in the set. There's many good uses for this. Dude, so excellent. you should have a pretty beefy computer, a dual or quad core computer I recommend. And if you don't, you can always minimize to reduce Second Life's computer power. But instead of letting me talk on and on, let me show you. So I'm going to drag, 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 drag this to the side, and you'll see there is a Second Life shortcut, which is installed pretty, pretty default. It's pretty common. But if you don't have this, here's how to make one. Let me just exit stage left, come back in. <laughs> and this is a window showing the standard Windows Explorer, showing the standard directory where Second Life is usually installed. And what you want to do is either look for Second Life application like this, or there may be a shortcut that's already in there. And that's also standard. So I can either right click this and I can create a shortcut or what I can do is I can just right click this and copy this. And let me just drag this out of the way. We've got limited screen space and right click and paste the shortcut or just paste, paste will work. Okay, yep, that will work too. And you'll notice there's already one. It asked me to replace it. That's all right, so we got a new one. Now, what you want to do is normally if you try to start another viewer, double click, it says, oh, Second Life is already running. Of course it is, but we can circumvent that. <laughs> okay, and just let me just uh, right click this, then properties. And you'll see right here next to target in the shortcut tab, what you want to do is go to the very end, very end here, type a space and type a dash or the minus sign and multiple, the word multiple, and you don't have to click apply, okay will work. Remember that, minus or dash, multiple, okay. And now you'll notice when I double click, Second Life, oh, it's going through, it's going through the motions. And now, let's see, oh my goodness gracious, we have, let's confirm it by seeing them both at the same time. We have two viewers, it's just taking a little while longer, but we have two viewers instead of one. And again, if you have a sufficiently powerful computer, you can repeat this process. <laughs> We're multiplying. And then, just wait again. Of course, you can log into a different account with each one. Now, something also I should mention is that, let me just minimize that, haha. -ha, from this properties and shortcut, there are other things that you can enter, other command line switches, so to speak. But this will give you a basic intro, because I know it's something that I've been asked many times, and it's sort of hard to describe in words, which is why I made this video tutorial. So, I hope you enjoy this. Enjoy being multiples of yourself in Second Life. Thank you for watching the tip of the week, and see you next week.